Leslie Laird, Deputy Leader of Fine Council and Spokesperson for Economy and Planning. First of all, I haven't really planned to speak this morning, but um, first of all, can I just say how much I love Arne and the Arne Ferry and um, yeah, that was a wonderful campaign. Um, I want to talk about Fife and our experience of transport. Uh, over the last few years, um, I've been leading on two main campaigns in Fife. The first one is to restore the Leave and Mouth Rail Link. The Leave and Mouth Rail Link is five miles of track. It should be connected to what is one of the most deprived areas in Scotland. We've been working hard with that local campaign group to restore the Leave and Mouth Rail Link. Why are we doing that? Because, comrades, it would give you the biggest investment and the biggest hit bang for your buck if you're really talking about economic regeneration and inclusive growth. This is a community that is so uh, in need of this type of investment. It's one of the most deprived areas in Scotland and one of the populations where so few people even have a car. The economic analysis for Weed and Mouth is compelling. By opening up that real link, it would give that population access to 500% more job vacancies. Just by opening up that real link, that whole connectivity, that whole opportunity to actually provide for themselves and their families in ways that they don't currently have, would be there. And that's why we've been campaigning to get that reopened. But one of the challenges that we've had is trying to understand as a council how on earth you actually navigate Transport Scotland's system around a STAG, a Strategic Rail Assessment. Fife Council has already paid out three times for a STAG for the Leaving Miles Rail Link. £100,000 is a lot of money for any local authority to do that, with no guarantee that your bid is going to be successful, no guarantee that they can tell you what the criteria is. I think one of my colleagues summed it up better when they said that actually we do a more open and transparent job of selecting how we invest in a zebra crossing than ScotRail seem to do in relation, or Transport Scotland seem to do in relation to selecting how they're going to invest in rail projects. So people here today, please go on to the Leave and Mouth Rail Links campaign webpage and give them your support. The second area I want to talk about in terms of inequality is rail fares. I've been campaigning on rail fares for the last two years because in Fife, per rail mile journey, we pay two and three times more for our rail mile journeys than many of you enjoy in other parts of Scotland. If we're really serious about having a transport system, a transport strategy that's connected to all our people and all our communities, then that starts with having a fair and equitable price that everyone pays. It shouldn't be a postcode lottery about what you pay for your fare, but currently in Fife, believe you me, it is. In other parts of Scotland, it will also be the same. So please think about when we talk about having a real transport strategy, let's think about how we actually connect that to all the other things that we want to do. It's about equality of opportunity, it's about addressing that inclusive growth agenda, and it's making sure that it's fair for all. I support the motion. Thank you very much.